Hi everyone, I am here with this um, beautiful young lady <laughs> that came to see us. She um, has some problems with blackheads and so we're going to be um, extracting them. And um, so I'm gonna go ahead and open these up first. She is, and when I said young lady, is because she's just so precious. And but she's been a smoker for a long time, which has caused her to have a condition that we call solar comedones. And I'll show you that in a minute. And so she needs a lot of extracting. So I'm gonna put some pressure to remove these. I want to make sure we get these all out for her. I um, have not seen her and um, I guess in a long time, it's been a while. And so she is getting ready to go on a trip and she wanted her skin cleaned. And so these fill up. So these are not like your regular, you have to really come on a regular basis to really manage this. And again, I'm gonna put some pressure on there to make sure we get this all cleaned out. Está bien linda. ¿Cómo te sientes? Bien. Okay. All right. She doesn't um, speak English, so I'm going to ask her in Spanish if she's doing okay. Okay, so she's got a clogged pore here. You could see it. I'm going to go ahead and open that up for her. And the way I'm going to do this is that I'm actually going to make like a little cut right in the middle. To get everything out of there. Okay. ¿Cómo te sientes, mi amor? Okay. Tengo que poner un poquito de presión. And you can see that's been sitting there for a while. Okay. Again, stretch, go at the base. And try to get everything out of there. Perdona, hermosa. So she asked if that if it came out and I said yes. And um, I told her, I said, I'm so sorry, but he pressure. She goes, oh, I know, I have to put pressure on those areas, so. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep cleaning those, um, that for her. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and open this up here so that we can go ahead and. And you could see kind of where it's at. It's pretty deep in there. I'm hoping that I'm not covering it with my hands, but. Okay. 
Okay, and then I'm going to go on this side here and just get all those. Now this is filament here, just build up of oils. Unlike what we saw earlier, which was blackheads. And I just put a little cotton there. So we're gonna go ahead and get this one out. Now she's got some blackheads on the other side, but what I'm gonna do is I'm only gonna do like half here right now, and then we'll do the other half a little bit later so that way we can um, finish that other side, okay? She also has little blackheads through here. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and concentrate on the larger ones so that you guys can see it. Okay, so this is what we call solar comedones. And solar comedones um, mainly really appear around the eye area, the outer perimeter. Uh, also, it also affects the nose area. And um, so hers is really due to smoking and some sun exposure, but mostly it's because of smoking. And the reason why we get solar comedones is that you don't get the amount of oxygen that the skin needs. And so what happens is that you get a buildup of keratin um, and then, of course, oils, and it just accumulates and it's skin that it's damaged. So she'll always have that problem. It'll fill back up. So it doesn't naturally exfoliate like it should. So um, she's gonna have to be on either some type of keratolytic, whether it's our glycolic wash or um, some type of Retin-A, something to help exfoliate the skin. I don't see her on a regular basis. So she, she comes I don't know, maybe once a year, if that. Um, whenever, I guess, it builds up as she comes in and, and has us extract her skin. But if she came on a regular basis, it, the texture of the skin would change and the overall appearance. Okay, so here we go. I'm stretching the skin. I already opened. Slightly stretch and clean those pores out for her. En moza como está. Está bien. Okay. Again, we stretch. I'm just getting the larger ones for you guys so that you can see it. But I will tell you, she's got smaller ones through here that we need to work on.
Okay, and um, just so that you have an idea, these are still small ones. I'm not gonna, uh, just so, sh so you'll see, um, that need to be t um, removed because if, they, if we don't remove them, they'll become enlarged like these, okay? So as you can see, um, so I'm doing extractions. See around the base here. I'm hoping the camera can catch it. There is there's a buildup that pore is filled. So we want to make sure we we remove everything. Now she's really not as primed um, as I would like her to be. So it might be a little bit uncomfortable for her. So here we go. And so we're really emptying out that pore. Okay. You can see emptying out all of that, that content out of there. I am aware that she's got smaller um, ones there, and you probably will see it on the camera. But I'm, like I said before, I'm really trying to concentrate on the larger ones because we're kind of like on a time crunch. She came in, and I did not know the condition her skin was in, and so when I saw that she had all these uh, solar comedones, I told our videographer you know, grab the camera. Let's go ahead and record. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna go down here and there's one right there. She is taking a trip, so I'm hoping when she comes back from her trip, we can kind of finish everything off for her. So stretch and put some pressure on there and get that out. Okay. okay. So now we're going to go in this area through here and um, she definitely has some smaller cysts through here and stretch. There's a little opening. I'm going to go up and I'm going to move that around. Okay. Again, I'm going to go on this angle and we're going to go up and move that around a little bit. And here, kind of the same way, okay, in this area. So this one, let's go this way again, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and stretch. Let me fix this for her. So these are more smaller cysts, and we just need to empty all this out. Stretch from the bottom to the side. Okay, again on this one, same way. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. 
And I'm just gonna, you know, feel around that area just to make sure that I feel that there's nothing in there left. Get a small little blackheads through there. Now this one, let me see if I can get it through here. I may have to go ahead and open. So let's see. I'm gonna stretch this way and I'm gonna make a little incision in this angle. Okay. Stretch out. bien mi amor uh -huh. estoy abriendo aquí un poquito porque este es bastante grandecito okay? uh -huh. ok stretch <coughs> and see the contents a little bit more waxy Tiene bastante aquí, ¿ok? Uh -huh. Voy a tener que poner presión, ¿ok? And you can see it. It's been there for a little bit. It's oxidizing some. sure that this is completely cleaned I'm just gonna put some pressure on there voy a poner presión porque necesito estar segura que esté limpiecito ok mm -hmm. y me perdona de lo profundo de mi corazón <laughs> eres amada ok <laughs> y especial pero necesito sacar esto de aquí ok so I, again, I'm going to go and just double check, stretch out. She does have a little black hip there. So I'm going to go ahead and take that out. here that we need to go ahead and open up. And again, I'm going to make an incision, little, just superficial really. Okay. And So that there's enough room for that content to come out. Papi, mi amor. Sí. Okay. And I'm going to go through all this side right on here. And push everything inward towards the center so that it completely empties out.
Para las alpitas. <risa> Tenía bastante. Sí, mi amor. Pero el miedo no me dolió, esperaba que me doliera. Más duele en la, en la nariz. Yeah. I'm glad. So I'm going to go ahead and keep kind of getting the content in, in there. So hopefully we can get the little sack out. Okay, again, stretch. I'm gonna put a little bit of alcohol pad there, just make sure. Yes. Uh, we just finished that cyst in the back, and she's got a couple smaller ones, but I really wanted to get these out, so. Let's go ahead and, and do these. <laughs> I'm gonna go here at the base. <coughs> and then we're gonna do and we're gonna do these two here. Or three. So there's one. Two and three right there. I want to go ahead and open that up just a little bit. Just to um, make sure everything is cleaned out because it doesn't look like it is, you know, and even though I know she's ready to, session to be over pretty much, and I understand. Go to the next section. little tricky corners. Okay, so we're gonna be wrapping things up here today. I wanna thank everyone for tuning in. And I look forward to our next time meeting again. Thank you for your continual support, honestly. It's just, uh, just warms my heart uh, to know that I have such great support out there. 
I would love to really grow my Instagram account so if you haven't visited it please do and subscribe okay thank you so much god bless you love you guys and we will see you next time bye